Hello everyone and uh, now in this video we will see how we can push the image to the docker hub okay so uh, these are the some of the steps which we have to follow to push the whatever we create the image for the docker hub okay as uh, uh, it will be very uh, beneficial suppose if you want to send some code or some part of uh, like some of your project to someone else uh, which works on a particular uh, environment suppose that project works on python 2.6 only okay so then you can uh, create the image of that and then you can send it to your friend or uh, like you can post it on the docker hub and from there your friend can access it okay so this is the very uh, simple process so for that first of all you will need to go on this particular website that is docker hub it like hub.docker.com okay and here if you don't have any account then for that you will need to register first it's very easy process to register actually i have already uh, an account on it so what we can do i will just sign up sign in here so this is the username which is required to push the image to the docker hub okay so currently we are here on the dashboard okay so now what we will be doing uh, like we had created the image that is calci okay and now uh, but uh, we can do uh, we will create one more image act, uh, for this project okay that sample.java okay we have already the docker file here we had done it in our last video okay so this is the docker file so what we will do we will basically create one image okay so how we can do it it's a very simple docker build hyphen t okay and the name which you want to provide suppose i want to provide its name to calculator java okay this name i want to provide and you have to just use dot okay so here you can see images being created now if you will search for docker images so here you will see calculator java has been created and the tag is latest because we had not provided any kind of tag to it that's why it's showing latest okay so just uh, uh, clear the screen and again i'm let me just search okay so this is the uh, image has been created okay so now here if you will check uh, uh, here you will see like the whatever the image we create we don't provide uh, the actual the format of that so we need to change the format using this command like docker tag and the whatever the image name if version name is present then we write the version name and then the uh, the name in the format in which uh, through which we can post that uh, image to the docker hub okay so that how we can do let's see so it's uh, just uh, you have to provide docker and then you have to provide the tag and the name of the image which you have created so here the name is calculator java okay so calculator java okay and the name will be followed by your username so my username is 9874567 slash and whatever the name which you want to give suppose i want to give it as a calculator app and i will provide the version so i will provide the version name as version 1.0 okay let's hit enter and now if you will again search for docker images you will see one image has been created with the name and the tag is version 1.0 okay so now what you will need to do uh, you will need to just uh, uh, do docker login okay to push that uh, image to the docker hub so docker login is required okay so here it is showing me like i am already uh, authenticated here okay so if i will open up some new terminal and if i will search here docker login okay it's already uh, my account is already authenticated that's why it's not asking me for the username and password but when you will do it it you will need to enter your username and the password okay so it's fine uh, now what we will do the last command which we will use is docker push and whatever the image name which we have so we have this image name we will need to copy this whole okay so okay push and the version in which you will need to provide it and the version name is uh version 1.0 okay 
so here we done so the post refers to repository this so it will now push our project to uh, on the docker hub okay let's wait it will take some time uh, so it's of 323.6 MB okay so here you can see it is showing me mounted from Ayush this Galaxy app okay so is there also any no actually I had already pushed one uh, image with the same name for the testing that's why it's showing that Just wait till the completion. I just pause the video. Okay, I will come back when this will complete. Here you will see now it is pushed. Okay, so if you will check here, uh, if we reload this, okay, so here we, you will see uh, one image is pushed here. Okay, and this is the same name which we had given like calculator app okay and if you will click on the public view you will get to know how you can uh, pull this image okay so this is the command which we use to pull the image actually okay so that is the simple one okay so uh, you might you might get confused why mounted and all so to clear all this uh, if you want to go you can give it like this colon and then version 1.0 but now I don't want it just uh, hit dot okay so let's just clear the screen if you'll check for docker images so here you will see this one I use nine itself this 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 okay oh sorry not this one yeah here here we have hello python okay so this is created now we can just push it using docker push and the name which we have is uh Ayush nine eight seven four five six slash hello python okay so here you can see it is preparing and waiting it will take some time okay okay it is now taking all the from library python fine okay i just pause okay and we'll wait i just pause okay so here you can see it is just pushed all, all those things if you will check again on the repositories here in this section and here you will see hello python is there and if you click on public view so this one is the command which we will be using okay so now what we will do I just go into the docker images and uh, I just remove this one uh docker rmi remove image and the name of the image should be okay okay now removed if i can check okay fine there is no images so now what we can do uh where is the yeah instead of rmi we can do now pull okay so now it's pulling the resource from the docker hub okay status downloaded if you will again check for docker images so here you will see we have this one and if you want to run you can run it using docker run and the control v we will do this one and the here you can see the content whatever the content we had written uh, it's showing us here if you'll check app.py so this is the this is first image current directory is printing and the all the files which are present there okay so in this way you can push the image to the docker hub you can pull the image from the docker hub okay and also this will help you to uh, like um, what we say you can easily share your project to other person as well okay so that's it for today's video guys. I hope you liked it. Okay, if you have any queries, you can ask in the comment section. That's all for today's video and I'll meet you in the next video. Thank you for watching.